And then now this will fit on that, that way, hopefully. It's always the goal, right? Lie on mouth. Alrighty. Okay, and now we're gonna get to the complicated bowl. Sorry if I made everybody dizzy just now. All right. <clears throat> my old dry clay from my tea bowls. Okay, so now this next one is a little more complicated. So what we needed to know was the distance within that top opening, and then we also need to know the distance of the second part of it. And basically, this is gonna be a little more interlocking, a little more form-fitting, a little more advanced than so I have my camera on my water. I'm gently putting water. All right, so we're gonna start also with an upside down bowl. I might have a little bit too much clay here. Okay. And I'm gonna open up as deep as I want it to be. And what I went to is I'm gonna open up, There's a, it's a cylinder within a bowl. Let's see what I'm talking about when we start to go. So I want to open up this first part to the desired width. It's my it's that. To the desired width that we need the inside of the the cylinder inside the lid to fit within the pot. Okay. Let's see if that works. So I want this interlocking part to be 12 inches. So I'm gonna open this, 12 centimeters. So I'm gonna open this up to about 11 centimeters because I want the cylinder itself that interlocks to be about half an inch, half a cylinder wide. So now I've opened that. And then what I'm gonna do is I can use my cool wood tool again and I can do the opposite of what I did for the flange. I can split it this way. And then as I said, I try and make my gallery three quarters of the width of this tool. So if I do that, then I don't really have to measure. I'm going to, but I don't have to. Um, I always measure because I don't trust myself. So now this part should be 12 centimeters. It's a little wide. So I'm actually gonna collar it in. That should be enough. And then this outside part, super important for this to be a right angle as well, because remember this needs to sit. And if this is rounded here, again, glaze will change the shape of it. Then it's not gonna fit tight. And now this outside part has to be 14 and a half centimeters from here to here, because this is gonna fit in the gallery. And then this is gonna lock inside the hole that you created when you made that gallery. So, go ahead and trim off this excess stuff here. I'll try and show you guys what I mean by it fitting inside. Get rid of all the caca. Okay, so if this is my pot. This is the outside that I measured. I'm gonna flip this upside down. I didn't wire it, so no stress. Okay, and then you can see that this part, the narrow cylinder that I pulled up, fits inside that hole, and the outside fits and locks inside there. So tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to trim these. I'm gonna leave them unwrapped because it's amazing how um, how much you can control the drying of your pots, especially when the weather is a little moist <laughs> um, or damp outside, it takes longer. Um, so I'm gonna gently cover them with plastic, and then what's great is I can come back tomorrow, even later on today. It's a little thicker because I wanna carve them, so I'm gonna let them sit till tomorrow, and then I'll show you guys how I trim them. See ya, have a great day.